I always feel really awkward when I'm doing these introductions. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> There's a delivery guy just outside the window and I think he thinks that I keep waving at him, but I'm just trying to do my intro. I've just finished filming this vlog, which is my everyday makeup and wig tutorial just because why not everyone else films them so why not me <laughs> i will be showing you how i go from literally a hard-boiled egg with eyebrows to this i don't know what would i be like a hard-boiled egg with eyebrows and hair enjoy i've literally just showered um shaved my head cut myself <laughs> um straightened my wig so that's ready to go so I'm gonna do a bit of my skincare, um, I'm gonna stick my wig on first and basically turn this into my normal everyday look. Okay so a lot of the time I literally can't be bothered to stick my wig on properly. <laughs> Today I'm actually gonna spend the time and actually do it um, just to show you how I do it. Unless I've got a good amount of time to do it I won't I won't bother sticking it on properly. So normally to stick my wig on I use this which is the got to be ultra glued hair gel. It's good for like everyday wear but I've also used the Walkers lace front tape. It's really strong. I got recommended this by um, another girl on Instagram. Um, she actually has a hair system which I think it has silicone inside um, which helps it stay on bit better but she can then stick this in little chunks around the silicone whereas with my wig because it's a uh, full lace cap I can't do that so um, also another good one um, is the got to be glued hairspray works pretty much the same as a gel but I found that sometimes it can make the baby hairs a little bit crispy and we're not about the crispy life so fresh love it I love a freshly washed wig I have worn it once so there is a little bit of residue just inside you can actually see where I actually bleached the inside of the cap um, which just makes the knots a bit of a nicer colour so it matches with my um, scalp a bit better because I think the colour of the lace here is a little bit too dark for what I want and if you bleach the knots it kind of makes it look like it's sort of growing out of your head it's also got this strap inside which is elasticated and then it's got two little clips on the inside a bit like hair extension clips so before I actually stick it on, I just like to get the clips lined up in position with, with the band. So as you can see, I've clipped it on here. It does give this little loop bit, which is a bit annoying, but the wig wasn't made specifically for my head shape, which is why it doesn't sit completely flat. But for me, it works, it's fine, it's comfortable. I clip the clips to the band before I put it on my head, and then as I put it on my head, I can then sort of move them tighter or move them further apart. So then I'm just going to fling it on my head. Ooh, that five head. <laughs> so, just going to position that to whereabouts I want it. Now, I do actually have a wrinkle on my forehead. I think it's here. I can't really see with this light. And I basically line the wig up with that wrinkle. It's not the big wrinkle. It's sort of the one above it. Okay, so once I'm happy with the positioning of it, I'm just going to take a little clip and I'm just gonna take this front bit and just clip it out of the way. So then, I'm gonna flip this bit back and then take my got to be, little blob of it, and I'm just gonna put that sort of around my hairline there. Not too thick, not too thin up to that wrinkle that I can't really see because I'm being blinded by my ring light <laughs> so I'm just guessing okay so we're just going to do that bit for now get rid of any excess sort of off your fingers um gonna need a hair dryer for this use a really low heat setting because we don't want any tears <laughs> so we're just going to dry that until it's slightly tacky and then we're just gonna flip this bit down and press right in the center of that part in, use a little comb, press it right in. And then I'll either use the end of the comb or the actual bristles on the comb, 
hold down and really press that front bit into the gel and then use your hairdryer again just to set that front bit down with the comb over the top. If the lace on your wig isn't super duper thin, super high quality, it's not gonna blend really, really well. Mine, I'm not really too fussed if it doesn't blend all that well. Some wigs do, some wigs literally you cannot see the lace at all. Mine, you can a little bit. So once that bit is stuck, we're gonna move on to the sides. Literally, if anyone knows of a quicker way to do this, please let me know, because <laughs> this is a struggle. This is why I don't wear my wig every day, or if I do, I'll stick it here, bandana. I'm gonna go back in and stick this side. Like I say, it's not always gonna be flawless. It does totally depend on the lace of your wig, um, the products you're using. This is just what works for me. Okay, so next step, bandana. I find the best way to keep your wig secure all day is once you've done all that and you've heated it up and you've set it, is to then put a bandana on um, for about 10 minutes. Okay, so just lay this over the front, excuse the foundation marks, and I am actually going to do my makeup with this on, so just make sure you don't stick it like really far over your face if you're going to do that. I'm going to tie that in a knot just at the nape of my neck. So keep that really tight, it will keep that wig nice and secure. I'm going to keep that on while I do my skincare and also my makeup. Okay, so as I said, I'm really into my skincare. I think the most important thing, if you're gonna do anything with your skin, is a cleanse and a moisturizer. Cleansing off your makeup with a wash is the most important thing. Um, anything that you really sort of get in and lather into your skin is gonna really rinse out all that crap, all the makeup, um, and just general dirt of the day. It's so important, even if you've not even worn any makeup. So I have cleansed my skin in the shower already. This morning I used the Clarins Pure Melt Cleansing Gel. I love it. I'll either use that or I will use the Emma Hardy Moringa Balm. It's basically a set oil, um, and as you rub it into your hands it melts down and then you just sort of rub it around in circles. Exactly the same with the Clarins Pure Melt Gel. Starts off as a gel, melts into an oil, just feel really luxurious, really hydrating for your skin. First step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with these Nip and Fab Glycolic Pads. These are the ones for sensitive skin, so they're not gonna be too harsh on your skin if you're starting out trying them. I know with any sort of glycolic product, it can be a little bit tingly, it can sting a little bit if you're first using it, and I'm just gonna wipe that over my skin. If you you've got spots like I have at the minute, go over them last because otherwise you're going to spread that all around your face. Okay, the next step, I always, always use Clarins Double Serum. It is literally the holy grail of my skincare routine. I use this every morning, every night, it literally does everything you want it to do. So you can switch between a big pump or a small pump. So the next product I use is this eye cream. Okay, so this one comes with a really flat edge. So you pump out the product onto your hand, just a little bit, and then pat it in circles just onto that. This bit on the eye cream is so nice and cooling because it's metal, it's really good for puffiness. Fantastic for dark circles, getting rid of any sort of first signs of aging. And then after that, I go in with my Clarins Multi Active Day Cream. Okay, so skincare is done. Now I'm gonna go on to my makeup. 
So like I said, I am no makeup artist. I literally do the bare minimum with my face. I don't tend to use high-end products. You'll never catch me trying to do a cut crease makeup. So basically, you're gonna have to excuse me if anything I do is not right. I'm also using the grubbiest makeup sponge. It is relatively new. I only got it last week, so. So the foundation that I've been using at the minute is the L'Oreal True Match. But you know what, I want a bit of extra coverage today. So I'm actually going to mix it with my Estee Lauder Double Wear. I've wet my sponge already, so I'm just going to go for it. Next step, Revolution Concealer. This is C4. A little bit of that under my eyes. Now for powder, I'm using the Revolution Banana Powder, but the actual bottle it comes in is crap. So I've put it in this. Told you, not a makeup artist. <laughs> There's probably some people watching this like screaming at me to stop doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna do my eyebrows next. So obviously I've gone over them with my foundation. Okay, so actually one eyebrow product that I actually swear by. Primark. When these first came out, I bought one, used it, it was like two pounds, loved it, went to buy more, all gone. None. Anywhere. But yeah, so when these came back in stock, I literally bought like 20. <laughs> so I never run out. Uh, this is in the shade dark brown. Oh, I have one eyebrow hair. Let me see if you can see that. Can you see that? Oh my god. Literally one lonely little hair. It'll be fine. Next, I'm gonna go on to my eyes. Some people will probably wonder why I didn't do the first. Don't know, just never have. So today is just a lazy day. I'm not really doing anything apart from filming this. So I'm literally not gonna do much with my eyes. I'm gonna use my bronzer, same one as I use my cheeks. And I'm literally just gonna pat that into the contour of my eyelid. Anyone else have like a really energetic eyebrow? Like one that moves more than the other. I've realised this one shoots up all the time. It's just my face. See? Not even. They are actually, when I rest, they're at the same level. Or they are before I drew them on. <laughs> so since I have started losing my eyelashes on this eye, let me just show you. 
I've gone to use a gel eyeliner just to sort of add a bit of depth into the lash line. If you don't already shop for makeup in TK Maxx, what are you doing? <laughs> Literally, so many bargains, really good for lashes as well. I found this Illamasqua um, Precision Gel Liner, £2.50. So I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, do not look at the spoolie because it's filthy. Literally just started doing this in the last week, so if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Um, I just get a little bit on the end of the brush, and then I literally have just been like pressing it into that line. You know what, that's actually a lot easier to do on the eye with no lashes, because they just don't get in the way. So I feel like that just gives me a bit more of a, an illusion of having more lashes than I do. How many of you guys also find that you literally have a bobble on your wrist 24-7, even though, like most of the time, you don't have a wig on? <laughs> okay, so last step is mascara. Since I've obviously got this gap in my lashes, I've literally just been doing the outer corners, so that that one doesn't look better than that one. <laughs> That'll do. Untie the bandana. Do a bit of ruffling. And if I'm feeling really fancy, I'll put a bit of lippy on. This is Mac Whirl. Never really tried like a, a brownish nude before, but I tried this one in the airport and I loved it, so obviously I had to buy it. <laughs> I literally love this colour so much. That's me done. Hopefully those of you who wear wigs will find the tips on how I stick mine on helpful. Hi, I'm just finishing filming. Can I ring you back in a minute? Oh yeah, I'll just come Okay, I'll send you in a minute. Bye. Bye. It's Danny and she wants a uni days code. Literally, this is why my friends are friends with me student perks so yeah thanks for watching let me know if you found any tips useful or if you've got any suggestions if you're going to tell me how to do a cut crease makeup please don't <laughs>